Welcome to a video on Code Tech Tutorials. I want to show you a little tip for video editing, something that's nice to have in your toolbox. And it's not something you want to do on every video, but there are definitely a lot of situations where knowing this sort of thing can save you many hours of time. And what I'm talking about here, as you probably know by the title of this video, is auto editing your video to cut silences. It took me a while to find a tool to, to do this. Eventually I found it on some form somewhere, but the tool is Reaper. Reaper is like a full audio editing suite. So let's go ahead and open this up. I'll walk you through the steps that I go through. And I will mention that this seemed to work better on the 32-bit version. This, this process that I'm about to show you had a problem when I went through it on the 64-bit version. So I'm on the 32-bit version. Looks like there's just been an update. I'm not gonna grab that right now before doing a tutorial though. So we're on 6.15. Okay, so what you do is you bring in an audio file or a video file, rather, say you're recording. So you might have to, if your video format does not come in here correctly, you're gonna have to use something like Handbrake to change the format of it. I'm launching Handbrake here so you can see that. Handbrake. I'm not gonna go through Handbrake, so here we go. So some just various files. I'm gonna go with uh, whatever this one is. And I'm just gonna show you how I do this. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna drag the file in to a new timeline here. It's gonna build some peaks. Okay, so what you do is you click your section of audio and I'm not really gonna get into all the Reaper controls. I am not an expert with Reaper, I will be the first to say, but you generally can click around and select things. So you select this clip and then you go up to actions, show action list. There is no like default hotkey or default button to do this. You've gotta to go to this show action list. And if we wanna do split, or here we go. Auto trim, split items, remove silence. So I guess remove silence, if I type that in, there it is. So I've actually set a hotkey to it. You can do that if you want. Mine's Control Shift S, which is often like the uh, save, but whatever, Control Shift S. So anyway, you can find in this actions, click on it, press run, and it brings up this little toolbox about how you want to auto trim. So there is a threshold for loudness, I've noticed, uh, I don't know, for me, like negative 37 seems pretty good, but the further you go down on this, the, m the more it's going to pick up of silence. So usually you wanna figure out a good ratio. Negative 37 tends to be what I like, but if I wanted to pick up more stuff, if it's cutting out too much, I might change it to like negative 40, or I might try negative 39 first. We're gonna stick with 37 for this episode, or for this uh, demo and episode. I, I, rester, I don't know what this is. I've never used this. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll look it up and put it in like a flag, but I've never had to use it. It does something with the volume, obviously. Okay, and it says uh, we have an option to ignore sciences shorter than. You put a number here. I think the default here is 200, but I put 400 usually. Well, let's stick with 200. And you see there's a, yeah, this stuff literally does what it says. Makes non sign clips no shorter than, so you can set that time. We got a leading pad and a trailing pad of when it uh, starts and ends these clips. And you can have a fade here if you want uh, to trade in between the pads. And auto adjust snap peak offset for the first, whatever, 100. Um, I usually leave this on. I'm not really sure what this does, but you can play around with these options and try different things. Now, this, uh, these bottom three options are rather important. So if you want the silence, you want the area to just be blank, then you can click this. I, I'm trying to think of how to explain that in a way that makes sense, but basically if you uncheck this, it compresses all your video down and makes it shorter. If you do check this, it preserves the timing. So it'll cut the silenced area, but it'll just leave a big gap. So usually you want to condense it down, but it depends. And there's some other options here, which I don't use, so. We're just keeping it with this split and remove silence, not checking any of those, and we're gonna hit process. And there it has finished processing, and now it caps out at about 8.32. So it cut a good bit of silence out of that video. But now this is just in the editor, it hasn't rendered it out. So the next thing you have to do is render your results. And the way you do that 
is you go to let's see show action list again here and then we're going to look for I think it's just called render render project to disk that's what it is control alt r is the default shortcut but render project to disk so we just hit run on that and it brings up a little menu about what we want to do now here's some important things to get correct here set your directory I'm going to put it to a render folder give your file name so you can see here it's looking at a wave because uh, Reaper is really used for audio but we can render this as a video instead by going down to the format here changing this to video FFmpeg and then I usually change this format from WebM to this QT slash move slash MP4 this seems to be the pretty standard one and I don't touch any of the other settings here you can play around with them if you want but it seems to render fine when I do this and then you just hit render file this will take a good while but what will come out the other end in this folder that you selected with this name and then dot move so yeah it'll be right there when it's all done you'll have a new video with all the silence cut out but otherwise will be pretty much the same of course it went through this whole encoding and formatting thing so maybe it'll lose a little bit of frame rate or something but you might be able to play around with the settings and get that better if necessary so I'm gonna hit render well it's probably just gonna take forever yeah yeah this is gonna take well it says about 10 minutes and we are back it has completed so it has a few options here you can go show and explore or just launch file I'm gonna go show and explore should take me to the old render folder and there's there it is you can see it's 6.31 gigs in about eight minutes let's go look at the original the original one is about two gigs so it did increase the size but this original one is also let's just check the length with a quick play here it looks like this is a League of Legends match about 20 minutes and it cut it to 18 minutes so it cut off about 12 minutes let's just hit play is this actually the same video I gotta make sure yeah it is okay so this is like a League of Legends match all right so cut it down to eight minutes which hey might be cool it might be all the action scenes or something in this video obscure thing like it took me a while to figure out how to do this I remember I think I found just some random old post that someone said how to do it but beyond that I searched and searched this topic and could not find it so I hope this helps someone figure this out that has been searching for a really long time because it's a really nice trick to have in the toolbox and this was the one way I could figure out to do it. So I'll just do a quick recap. Let's reset this. Just a little control Z action. So all you do is you drag in your file, convert it if you need, if it doesn't like it. Then uh, you select your audio file, go to actions, show action list, look for silence or remove silence. You'll find it, run that. Set these options as you like, process, then after you process, yeah, just hit, you, know, you go to actions and you go to project to disk. There it is, render project to disk, run that. And this is the really important part. Make sure you get the output set up how you want. Make sure you change this to FFmpeg and change this format to move.mp4. I don't know, maybe you do want to write a mem, it just depends on what you want. But I always do this mp4 one. It seems to be good for YouTube and other editors as far as I know. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. Special shout out to my patrons on Patreon for helping me making this content for you guys. Feel free to join over there if you like. Link down below. Appreciate all of you. Peace out. Matt from Code Tech and Tutorials over and out. Please let me know what you think down below. And feel free to share, like, and 